up like a spur, I feel like Tim Duncan, yeah Shawty, she tweaking, she yelling and screaming, let's get all the fussing, yeah Let's get all the fussing, yeah She's just beaming, bond like Tatum all right, everybody, welcome back to The Harding Way. We're here with another episode of 94 Feet, and the topic for today, Bronny James. Uh, if y'all was watching last night, tip-off night, we had the history be made. We even had the Griffies in attendance, Isaac. It was, it was crazy. They had everybody show up, every father-son duel throughout history and time. They had Bronny James check in for three minutes. That was it, just three minutes. He went 0 for 2. Well, hey, he got a rebound, so he put on the little stats. No points yet. But the main thing I want to talk about today with you, Isaac, it's got to be, is there any pressure on Bronny to succeed out here? Or does it even matter? I think being LeBron sitting alone, you have to succeed. Um, there's going to be, you know, obviously a big pair of shoes to fill because LeBron is arguably the greatest of all time if you don't want to go already. But, you know, I mean, he, he's going to do his thing. I feel like he's going to be able to develop um, – I wish he would have stayed another year in college at least so give him that time to develop. But overall, I think he's going to be okay. I don't think the pressure is going to bother him. I mean, he he got legacy in his blood. You know what I'm saying? It's just he's LeBron's son. And people can say what they want, but they're not just going to draft him just because of that. You know what I'm saying? He, he showed some type of skill and worth that he could be in the league. Um, he might get bumped down to the G League, if I'm being honest. But – he can still hoop. So I think he's going to be all right overall. I don't think the pressure is going to be too, too much. I'm going to be honest. I might disagree with you here. Um, Not the pressure part. The deserves to be in the NBA part. I'm Respectfully, I'm so sorry. The only reason that why that, he only reason why he was drafted is because of his last name. I'm sorry. I don't mean to be a hater. But I'm just saying he literally got drafted because of his last name. And I'm going to have to disagree with you again on that. The Warriors were interested in him, and they didn't draft him out of respect for LeBron. So he had interest in the league. You, like I said, you could say what you want, but he was he was going to get there regardless. My my good sir, he literally averaged like – now, hey, I want to say this too before I start going off on him. Respect for him to come back from cardiac arrest. That That's a hard thing to do. He's back. Respect. But that man averaged like eight points in college. Like he genuinely barely was in their rotation – in, in all reality, in a world where his last name is Butterfuko and we don't know who he is, I'm sorry, but he is literally at the end, ends up at some like lower D1 school. He ends up either D2 and he never touches an NBA floor. I am sorry. Now, granted, I, he's going to work I hard. I, I, he shouldn't be, he should not be here, but it, he has a good work ethic. So he's going to make it so he ends up belonging at the end of the day. He's going to get the keys. And he'll figure it out. I believe that. But I do not believe that he's getting here under his own volition, which I'm okay with the nepotism. Yeah, I mean, hey, all them old white dudes do it. I, I'm okay with black people with the nepotism. I'm all right with it. But I'm just saying this is nepotism, and he does not deserve to be here. I'm calling it like I see it. I mean, like I said, I think he should have stayed another year in college, if not two years, if not that, graduate and then go. But – I mean, just so he can develop at least, but I, I think that he deserves to be here and respect him for coming back after the cardiac arrest because that, that is not easy. I mean, he basically almost lost his life. Yeah. Oh, big respect on that. So now question number two, I guess. When does he go to the G League? Because I think it might as well be tomorrow. I don't think he's going to be here too long. I think they gave LeBron his little moment in the sun, and I'm assuming he's going back down to the G League by the end of the week. But – or when G League starts, I should say. But, like, what, what say you? I mean, I can see what you're saying because, I mean, putting him in for three minutes, he didn't do anything. But we got to see in the preseason, we got to see him, you know, get better a little bit. You know, one of those games he had, like, 17 with a pretty decent stat line, if I'm not bugging. So, I mean, they might give him a little bit more of a shot and then bump him down. Um, I definitely think – that he will be a two-way player if he doesn't show improvement by the All-Star break, definitely. Yeah? Yeah. I, honestly, it's, it'll be to be seen, though, to be seen. But at the end of the day, I, I mean, what a crazy moment in history to think, though, to watch a father and son take the court together. And they, they even did it all Disney-like and dramatic, had them check in at the same time. That was that was pulled right out of a Disney movie. I, that, that made me giggle just a little bit. As cool as it was, I was like, they had them check in. They got all the little photos. Them taking their little jump jumpsuits off together. I said, "Oh, jeez." <laughs> but I, mean, I feel like it was cool overall. I mean, because you just 
like you can look at it as a Disney moment, and like I I get the nepotism that LeBron pulled to get him there, but you just gotta look at the moment and like what it meant, not only for the league, but just in Black history. Yeah, bro, you know what I'm saying. So I feel like that was that was great, and I, I love that they came in at the same time. I feel like we needed that picture of them taking the warm ups off and stepping onto the court together because I feel like. I mean, I was wondering how was it going to go? Was Bron already going to be on the court? Was Bronny going to go out there when Bron's sitting and then Bron come out, you know? So, like, I feel like it was cool that they checked in at the same time in the second quarter. That was that was cool. Yeah, yeah definitely, definitely a plus moment. As much as I'm, I'm, I'm going to be hard, I'm hard on, I'm a little hard and a little stubborn on Bronny. Big moment. Big congrats to him. If y'all like what you see, feel free to like, subscribe, hit those bells and wings things down below. As I like to say, anyway, like the Harding way. Peace.